What is up guys, Zach aka Infected Productions bring you a intro tutorial part 2. In the first one we showed you how to make this basic intro, okay, with clever lighting and a good back there, okay. So now what we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm not very well guys, so the comment about the mic not being good quality, it's my turtle beach, so I hope it is good quality because it costs me a lot of money because it's x fight ones. So I think it's just my voice, I'm just not very well at the minute, and I haven't been very well for a long time. Okay, so next thing, right, what we're going to do, after making this basic intro, okay, we're going to go into this save here, okay, so click this, okay, we're going to go up to general, okay, it's going to be full render, okay, we're not having software preview or hardware preview, it's going to be full render. Okay, next output, okay, what we're going to have is it as HD TV 1080, 29.97 frames. This is not a montage, so we don't need it at 60 frames per second, okay? So, we're going to film slash video, okay, and we're going to go down, all the way down to this one here, okay? This is the one of the best qualities you can get, with it being a 72 resolution, that's pixels per inch, okay? And then what we're going to do is film aspect, pixel aspect, and frame rate. These should all be the film aspect should be 1.778, pixel aspect should be 1, and frame rate should be 29.97, which is what this is up here. Okay, next what we're going to do is going to check frame range, and we're going to go into all frames, okay? This goes from 1 to 50, okay? If you want less, just scale it down to about 10. What, 100, so then as you can see it's changed that, it's only going to do it to 100 frames but we don't want it at 100 frames because it stops midway so we'll change it back to 150 okay, as you can see, let's jump back up to 150 alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to go into save, okay I yeah, the way I save it, okay, is a TIFF PSD layers so each frame is, an, is a PSD layer and what that means is it's going to be a big, big it's going to be about two gigabyte, roughly. I don't know. I don't know how much it is, but the way I'm about to show you is the only the only way the only way you can like do it after is if you've got After Effects. Okay, this this has to be used if you've got After Effects. Okay, you can't do it if you're using Sony Vegas or Windows Movie Maker or whatever. Okay, this has to be done if you've got After Effects. Okay, because it, reg it it understands what a PSD layer is because it's Adobe. Okay, so what we're going to do is click down in Format and then we're going to go down to TIFF, T I F F PSD Layers. Okay, then we're going to go into Depth. You can choose whatever depth you want. Okay, the less depth, the more the less time it takes to render. Okay, but I'm going to go 30, 32 bit channel and then we'll name just so name zero 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 dot TIFF. And then alpha channel. This gets rid of the background, but keeps these two layers over here. Okay. And then we're going to include. We don't need. It doesn't matter about sound. And uh, you want you want 24 bits deferring checked. Okay. We don't want global uh, global illumination. Sorry guys, I'm struggling to sit. Told you, I'm struggling to speak here, guys. I'm not very well. I've got a headache and stuff. So, but I wanted to get this out because it's been a few days since part one. Uh, I did say to myself I'd get it out in a couple of days, but I've been too rough, guys. So I, I do apologise. But anyway, right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click this three dotted one here, okay? And we're going to find it. We're going to make a folder on your desktop, okay? Right click, okay? And we're going to make a new when it loads folder, okay? I've got my new folder here. You can rename it, and we're going to save it as zero zero. Okay, so save that. So when we render it, it will say zero 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 for the first frame, then zero 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 one, zero zero, and so on and so forth. So if all we need to do now is click this button here, just make sure double check because you don't want you don't want 150 frames on your desktop. Okay, you want it on in a folder, and then you can, all you have to do is drop and drag that folder into After Effects. Okay, so click this here. As you can see, it's now rendering it out like so. But don't worry, this background is not going to be here. Okay, we'll get that one frame there. So I'll, I'll end that and go into my folder. And there's the TIFF image file. Okay, 
Oh, I shut up my go away. Right. So that's basically what what happens, okay? And you're gonna get 150 of those in this folder here. And all you do is when you're opening it up in After Effects, drop and drag, okay? That's it. Just drop and drag into After Effects, okay? I'm sorry for my desktop, it's stupidly messy, but I've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, give us a comment what you think of this, guys, this this picture. What do you reckon to that, guys? This was modelled. These headphones wasn't. I modelled these speakers, though. Um, I can, if you want the model, give this a thumbs up and comment below that you want the model for it, and I'll just give you the model. Anyway, alright, I'll speak to you in a bit, guys.